Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to a corner of my room I never film in. I'm currently sitting on the floor next to the bottom of my bed and next to my cubby holes because I wanted to do, I was about to call it my annual tea collection but let's face it, I'll probably do another one by the time the year is out and did I do one a couple of months ago? I can't remember. Either way, I've accumulated quite a bit of cheese, as you may or may not be able to see uh, from this cubby hole. It, it's a bit, it's a bit redonkulous. So, let's go through them all. First of all, the first tea I'm actually going to show you is not in this cubby hole because this cubby hole is full to the brim. Um, it's actually up here. And I actually just got this tea yesterday. So me and my friends turned secret Santa. Yes, I'm filming this on the 21st of Ju June. The 21st of January. And uh, we finally done our secret Santa on the 20th. Um, so I got some tea pigs, mint and chocolate tea. And I did try them yesterday. Oh my goodness, they're very strong smelling. Um, Taste wise, I think they are just, they're very, very minty. I can't taste the chocolate so much, although I have only had one cup sometimes with teas. It takes me a few cups for me to really pick up all the notes, and it probably didn't help that before I took a sip of this, I had a mouthful of chocolate. So, yeah. Okay, we've got a lot of Yorkshire tea over here. So, these teas, I don't know, really, can I move one box? This box is open. Um, I have to smell them. I have to smell all my teas. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I don't know which way is the right way around for the box to be facing, so I'm just going to do my whole showing it all. But I speak about it anyway. Uh, Yorkshire teas. This is toast and jam tea. I cannot stress to you guys how much, if you like tea, how much you're missing out and you need this tea in your life. Again, just even smelling it, it smells so uncannily realistic of toast and jam. Like, you could close your eyes and you could think you had a plate of toast and jam in front of you. It's freaky. The first cup I had, I was a bit like disheartened. I was like, oh, oh. But the more you, again, it's one of these teas that you have to drink it a couple of times and then you really can taste the toast and jam. But with all teas, don't expect it to be bam in your face because teas are natural, so it is quite a subtle taste. But these are definitely going to feature in a favourite. They're amazing. Uh, you can't buy them online. I tried. It's really, really hard. Asda do have them, though. So if you've got an Asda close to you, definitely check it out. Um, when you can travel a bit further, definitely go to Asda and get some. So I've got two boxes of them because oh, one's not enough. Then more Yorkshire tea. I have got these are open too. I'll bring them down slowly. Um, I just call this my biscuit tea, but it's like multi-grain or mul it's multi-something, and it basically unlike another tea I have which I'll talk about later my chocolate digestive tea which I think I've spoke about before this tea is more like yeah it's more like rich tea tea biscuits so if you know what I'm talking about just the plain tea biscuits again I've had a couple of these it took me a couple of cups to work it out but I had one of these at lunch today and these these tea bags are really good as well. It does take you a while. Well, for me, it takes me a while to get into teas. Maybe for other people, it, it doesn't as much. And then at the far end here, we've got two different types of teas. On the top, we've just got the tea that started it all, which I did get in my local Tesco. My local Tesco only does the just normal standard English breakfast Yorkshire tea, which I have been through a lot. And on the bottom, we, ooh, don't fall out, it's fine, we have, um, show you both sides again, decaf tea. I've never actually bought decaf tea off my own back, I mean I've got tea in there that probably is decaf tea, um, and it's vanilla and nutmeg. I've only had one or two cups of these, but it, it's quite nice. So, Yorkshire tea definitely is really super yummy. 
Um, going along from here, the tea I was speaking about earlier, this is my Burden Blend Tea Company and my special Christmas top chocolate digestive tea. To date, this is still probably my favourite tea. I had to pause there because the toast and jam tea and the biscuit Yorkshire tea are incredible, but they're just new into my life, whereas this tea I've had... Gosh, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas. Not last Christmas, but the Christmas past. And I've still got it. And I'll definitely be repurchasing it once it's finished. Um, hopefully you can see, I don't want to pull it out, but underneath the biscuit, the Yorkshire biscuit tea in this tea caddy, it's a tea caddy with lots of little colourful buds on it I got from TK Maxx. Is it dusty? I hope not. Oh, I hope that's not dust. <sighs> anyway, we've got um, banana black tea from a, a little tea company called uh, Tea House Emporium. I do like, especially in these virus times, I do like trying getting tea from independent tea businesses. So if anybody knows any independent tea businesses out there, please drop them down in the comments, give them a shout out and I will definitely check them out. So they do have some really nice teas. I'd love to try their pumpkin and turmeric tea. Turmeric? Turmeric? I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> And then on this far end over here, we have a big, tall, pink tea caddy. Again, TK Maxx. They have just really good homeware stuff. And it's my Easter egg nest tea. I got two uh, big bags of it last April, so I'm still going through them. Um, oh, behind here we have... Oh, Bird and Blend. I'm almost finished this. We have Butter Brew Tea. It's not bad tea. It's not as good as everybody was raving it out to be on Bird and Blend. Apparently this tea sells out like super fast. It's okay. Probably wouldn't buy it again. And further back here we have a box of tea. Um, it's tea bags where there's most of the stuff is loose leaf apart from the Yorkshire and it's a blueberry and pomegranate I'm trying to find the bit where you open it up aha here we are blueberry and pomegranate and there is tons in here I think it was a box of uh, something like 50 actually I think there's more than 50 in there um, these teas aren't so much fruity you would think they'd be fruity because it's pomegranate and blueberry they're more kind of refreshing teas so I think these would definitely be really nice like iced on a hot day Um, haven't had too many of them not because I don't like them just because I don't know just I just haven't slot them back in Um, I'm reaching right back now we have another bird and blend I think this is wait till I open it up and smell it I don't have to there we go this is a peppermint cream tea from Bird and Blend. It's I got it because I thought it would be a kind of creamy peppermint tea, something different. It's really not. It's just bog standard mint tea, peppermint tea. So don't be fooled by the name. The, the clever team, clever, clever thing. <laughs> the clever marketing scheme. I do love Bird and Blend, but sometimes I feel that their their marketing tactics and the names that they give their teas sound really really enticing and then you get the tea and you get your your hyped up for oh I'm gonna have some creamy peppermint tea and then it just turns out to be like bog standard. It actually kind of tastes a bit like something from the garden if you get what I mean like it's mint picked from the garden so you've got that at least. Oh ho 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 here we go. This tea, again, Bird and Blend, uh, it's a huge bag. So usually from Bird and Blend I get, I think it's their 50 gram bags. This is a 150 gram bag because it was the only size they had. It was in like their, their sale or what have you. And I thought it sounded right up my street. Candy Floss White Tea. And I never had white tea either. Um, it doesn't really taste like candy floss in all honesty, it tastes kind of more like a red berry tea. Again, clever marketing, makes me buy it because it's candy floss and I love everything, 
if you try and sell me something and it has the word candy floss in it, I'm instantly interested. It's so bad. Um, yeah, it tastes more like red berries and I wouldn't put too much of the tea in your strainer because if you put too much in the tea, it's just really, really, really strong and not the pleasant of tastes. But if you just put like a pinch in and don't let it brew for too long, it's just, you know, nice red berry kind of tea. Not candy floss though. I did say this is my tea collection and this is my tea area, but I do like an occasional coffee, so I tend to have a coffee maybe once or twice a week and my favourite little coffees are the little beanie jars, so this is the one I've been working my way through right now. I'm going to open it up and smell it and I'm going to make a face, only because this guy is strong. There's the, there's the face, I couldn't even hide that if I tried. It was a very raised eyebrow, woof, kind of face. Um, yeah. Caramel popcorn coffee. Again, like with the tea, if you're expecting this to be, you know, right up caramel popcorn, all the sugar, all, all of that, it, it's not. You know, tea and most coffees, you know, they don't have, unless you add sugar in it or you add syrups and what have you, that it's pretty much all natural. So, it's not like a naked bar where I sit and eat a naked bar and think, how the heck does this taste like a blueberry muffin when there's like... There's only natural sugar in it, but that's the difference between naked bars and, you know, tea and coffee. There's no sugar in it unless you add it yourself. And I had done that once, experimented to see if it did make the flavour taste any more... I was going to say pigmented, uh, any more pungent, but no, it doesn't. And I've got two other beanie jars. They're not opened. Uh, one of them is Cinder Toffee. And one of them is Jaffa Cake. So, yeah. I do like my coffee syrups, but haven't bought any. Because there's no point when you've got flavoured coffees and I don't have any plain coffee. So before I start rambling on, I had one last tea to show you, but I can't find it and I'll just talk about it because it, it doesn't matter. It's, again, Tea House Emporium. It's in its original packaging and it's a uh, coconut black coffee and I know a lot of people are squeed out by coconut. Again, I wanted to try it. I love trying funky flavoured coffees. Uh, it's not my favourite but I don't mind it. It's the more tea leaves you put in, the more coconutty it is for sure. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again. Whereas the banana one, oh I love the banana one. Banana and the chocolate digestive one um, I will buy continuously. So that is my tea and coffee collection of January so far. There's plenty of other teas I'd like to get. Like I said, I'd love to get the pumpkin and turmeric one from Tea House Emporium. I'd love to try more funky tea pigs. And I'd also like to try a new tea brand. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me, called Tea and the Gang. They do, it's kind of like latte powders or something like that, it's like matcha green tea. I'd love to get matcha green tea. Um, Bird and Blend Tea Company do like ice cream one and I, I got a little sample once before and it's like the best tasting thing in the whole world. But matcha green tea is so expensive, it's like a tiny wee tub, a 30 gram tub for like 8 quid. It's so expensive. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty spoiled for tea and coffee for a while and I probably won't be buying any more anytime soon until I can get all these boxes sorted out. Because <laughs> there's no room. But I hope you guys are staying safe and cosy and enjoying your tea and coffee. And if you don't like enjoying tea and coffee, drinking an iron brew or a, a coke or whatever it is you like. But I'll touch you guys in a future video. Bye guys! Wait. Oh, I love filming videos, but the tidying up afterwards. Oh. Hashtag lazy girl problem.